Hey guys, welcome back. Let's get started. So I just wanted to do a quick weekly video to kind of go over my thoughts. So on the 200, right, the 200 day moving average on the four hour chart, you can see right now we're pushed up right against it. Future Futures are flat to green, right? Not really much of a difference till it follows through in the morning. So I'm still thinking that the market, again, we do have a small gap to fill here at 4010-ish, right? And we also, that could be the back test of this broken out of, right? So we could come down to retest this level before CPI, right? And the, the print is better than expected cooling inflation, we could have that C wave higher, right? To push up for this B wave. So it's kind of my thinking right now, right? That's just one of the scenarios I am monitoring. Alternatively, I'm also considering the fact that we, we could continue to push up until CPI, right? And then that could mark the B wave top before we come down lower for the C wave again in a bigger ABC. I still don't think that the lows will break at least before October, November, right? I think we go higher for the B wave before again, bigger picture come down for the C wave. And if you wanted a more bearish count, right? If you're a long-term bear, right? We could do something where this is your, Either your A, B, C, right? This is your B wave, you come down for a C wave, or the more bearish count would be this is your one, two, three, four, five. So these are the only two bear counts that are left, right? I still think they're in very, very low probability to actually play out. I think if you're bearish, what's more likely is a run up to CPI and then a plunge before a leg higher, right? And I'm still again monitoring that a potential given that we are starting to get overbought, right? Let's go look at the RSI on the four hour, right? You can see that we are starting to get overbought. That doesn't mean we have to make a new low, right? That just kind of like a cool off what I have pictured here could make more sense before a push to, you know, at least test 4,200. So those are kind of the versions I am looking at, right? If we do hit this 4,100, I mean, 4,40010 and we hold, right? Then a lot of, again, if you're short during the week, a lot of stocks, right? That make a higher low for Apple, for example, right? What I'm looking at on Apple is you can see we have broken out of this pattern, right? So higher low would make a good entry for a move up. So that's kind of how you, I would be looking at trades, right? Today's watch list is a little less structured because of the intraday moves that could happen, right? Either we're going to sell off and get bought up or we're pretty much going to go up till CPI before we come down. So it's going to vary based on that. And all the fang stocks, you can see I have a similar ABC in the ABC chart pattern, right? Google, again, is on support, right? So it could come down, make a higher low, right? Some kind of inverse head and shoulders before it moves higher. That's what I'm looking at. Tesla, I have... Tesla actually on this week's watch list. We'll go over Tesla then, right? But you can see if I go to a smaller time frame on the 30 minute chart, right? This is kind of the channel Tesla is in. So it could again come down to retest at least 294. Netflix on the other hand, right? Let's see what we have for Netflix again. It is sitting at a level of resistance, right? So it would make sense to again, test demand before it pushes higher. So it's kind of what I'm looking at across the market, right? We go look at the dollar. You can see that dollar has actually you know finally broken down right i think it's had three consecutive red days so far right generally you tend to go retest right make some kind of head and shoulders pattern before it comes lower it's kind of what i'm guessing for a dollar like let's see how that ages yields on the other hand right i go to the weekly chart of yields you can see that it's pushed up pretty well right it's probably gonna have some kind of inside week before it continues higher, but yeah, yields could lead to a more bullish equities, but the correlation isn't exactly, you know, one is to one. Bitcoin looks really good, right? We discussed this last week and it had a really nice follow through. And you can see even today it's holding over it. So a test, right? Come to make a higher low is actually bullish for it to, you know, continue moving higher. So Bitcoin charts look good, but I could definitely see a small retrace, right? before it goes higher. So yeah, that's what I have, right? On the broader index sense. So let's talk about this week's watch. It's kind of short, like I mentioned, right? A lot of across the stocks, right? You could 
look for a buy the dip kind of situation unless we keep running the cpi then i would kind of consider uh like down to 3750 so the first stock i am watching is enphase the reason for that the weakness started on friday right and we know the channel wise this blue line is support this red line is resistance and you can see that's kind of where we rejected right as long as it again follows through right opens below 305 then you could have a pretty bearish week so again and face even FSLR discussed last week, though not trigger, we did look for an overthrow and come down, right? So it could trigger trigger down this week. So I think solar stocks could be a good buy. Again, have to wait for confirmation, right? Before you start shorting it. But it does look like there could be a rotation out of solar into more oversold sectors. So the next one I have is Baidu. So again, the reason I have Baidu is I think China stocks, right? China stocks could continue experiencing weakness. Again, I would wait for it to open below 136, right? Open below this gap and continue lower. For weakness, bigger picture, if we want to look at HSI, right? For example, you can see that this bigger picture, if I go to the weekly chart on HSI, you can see that this channel for HSI broke. Right. So the trend right now is to the downside. Right. And you, that's why you can see every bounce so far has gotten rejected. So even if we do bounce a little bit on China, ultimately, I think that we will come down. Right. To test this trend line before a new swing higher, which is why I feel like China stocks, right, either this week or next week could continue having downside momentum. So, again, Baidu. PDD, right? They could be some of the stocks that could continue lower this week. So that's how I have it on this week's watch list. The next one I have is Rio. And the reason for that is, again, like I said, oversold stock, right? Starting to look nice. Again, a little bit, I don't expect it to break 62 today, right? I mean, it could, but a pullback, right? A little bit of pullback before it pushes higher is kind of what I'm seeing. It has broken its downtrend. So a retest is something I'm looking at before it goes higher, but this has a really nice structure. That's why I have real calls on this week's watch list. The next one I have is SELH, right? Again, uh, energy drink company. That's again, starting to look nice, right? If it stays sideways or breaks over 108, again, bigger picture, the trend line is up here. So eventually I think it will try to touch around 130s, right? Before it actually breaks down. So there could be opportunity in SELH, right? This I have calls on this week's watch list. And again, we've discussed Tesla. I'm just looking for a small pullback, right? I mean, it could, the bigger bear picture, if I had to chart one would be, this is my B wave with the C wave coming down, right? Again, completely possible, right? But I'm also looking to see if it just pulls back, fills this gap before it moves higher, all possibilities. But yeah, on a smaller time frame, I do see some kind of rising wedge that could trigger some early weakness this week. Again, it has to stay below 303. As long as that's possible, I could see that weakness. So that's what I have for this two is kind of short, but as I mentioned, right, two scenarios I am monitoring is, are we gonna pull back, fill this gap before we push higher, or are we gonna push till CPI, right? Finish out this B wave before we come down for the C wave. So depending on that, right, the stocks are gonna wear it. All right, guys, thank you. Have a